Welcome back to my channel. I know some of you are probably like, she cut her hair, but actually I didn't cut my hair. I just took my extensions out. I had keratin bonded extensions for like three months. I wanted to give my hair a break, so I took them out and this is my hair now. I just put some rollers in it and curled it for the video. So it's pretty short. I mean, I'm trying to grow it out, but I kind of like it short. It's a little different. I've just been kind of playing around with it lately. And when I want it long, like, cause sometimes I literally will wear it down to my waist. I just clip in my Bellamy extensions and yeah, so I can just go from short to long pretty quickly. Some of you also noticed that I wear wigs. I wanted to kind of bring this up because in the past week or so, I'm really not sure why, but I've just gotten so many negative comments about the fact that I wear wigs and just really mean and nasty things. And I just wanted to bring this up because I felt like I needed to address it. I wear wigs. I am no way trying to lie about me wearing wigs. Like I'm not trying to hide the fact that I wear them. I have so many of them. I change my hair color all the time with my wigs. I'm blonde, I have pink, I have blue, I have green. I have every color and I love them because I can just add versatility to my channel. I can show you guys what different makeup looks look like with different hair colors and I just feel like it's just a fun thing to add to my channel and I've just been getting a lot of really negative comments and I just wanna ask some of you that are putting nasty things down in the comments, please think about what you're writing before you write it because I have subscribers that don't have any hair at all that wear wigs but what I'm saying is it affects me, but it also affects other people that are reading it. So please think about what you type for before you type it because it really does matter. It is hurtful to other people besides me. I can deal with it. I read comments that are mean all the time, but please be respectful to each other and just think about what you're saying. And that's all I wanted to say about that. And I'm sorry to bring up all of that. I just, to the people that are sweet and that never write nasty things, I love you guys so much and you guys are so supportive and amazing. And if you love my wigs, I will be having a wig tutorial soon. All my wigs, just gonna show you all of them, try a few of them on, talk about where I get them from, how I put them on, all that. Um, those are for the people that really wanna know more about them and I just wanted to let you guys know I will be doing a video on it. Um, for this look today, I'm gonna be doing like a purple glitter, if you guys can notice. It's just like a really glittery purple. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows, a couple different things incorporated that I haven't used before on my channel and I just wanted to kind of mix it up so you guys can see some new products that I've been testing out and I'll talk about that a little bit. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, please keep watching and I will show you how. Okay guys, so first I'm going to be priming my skin with my Becca primer and I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush. And you all know that I use this primer all the time. I love it so much. It's so hydrating on your skin. If you're like me and you really like a lot of hydration, you're gonna love this so much. And it has a really nice luminosity to it, which I absolutely love so, so much. And next I'm going to apply the Revlon Color Stay Foundation with an Artist Oval 8 brush. This foundation is not new, but it's new because it has a pump on it now, and I'm in love. Thank you so much Revlon for adding a pump. Next, I'm going to apply Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I'm using the shade Fair. I'm just going to be concealing and highlighting underneath my eyes like I usually do. And then I'm just going to tap this out with a beauty sponge. I got this one at CVS, I believe. I just like to take the excess concealer and apply it to my chin and also on my forehead. Next, I'm gonna set all of that with Anastasia Banana Powder and MAC Pro Emphasize Powder. I just love the combo. It's really, really nice and really brightening. I just like to take this underneath my eyes and I also like to bring it onto my chin and also my forehead. Next I'm just going to set the rest of my face. I'm using a Sigma F30 brush and I'm using CoverGirl Stay Gorgeous powder. Next I'm going to bronze up my skin with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I'm using a Hakuhodo Sephora Kabuki brush. I'm just going to apply this all around my face. Next, I'm going to add some blush. I'm gonna be using the shade Easy from the Gwen Stefani palette and I'm using a Morphe E4 brush. When I apply my blush, I always make this really weird face, but it just helps my cheekbones pop out a little bit more. And I'm super big on blush, so I tend to go really heavy with it, but I just like the way it looks, so that's just how I've always done it. So I'm going to apply Crushed Pearl with a Morphe M501 brush. I absolutely love the new Anastasia Glow Kits. They're absolutely amazing, and I just was really, really attracted to the Gleam Kit because it has a lot of silver highlighters in it. 
Next, I'm gonna film my brows with my Anastasia Brow Definer. This is new. I got the shade Ebony. It's a little bit cool toned, but I do still like it. I think it's an awesome product and you guys should try it out. I'm just going to fill my brows like I normally do and then set them with L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in medium to dark. So next, I'm gonna prime and then I'm gonna go right in with the shade Party Dress by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just using a fluffy brush from Morphe and I'm applying this into my crease. This is like a warm orange brown shade. It's just a really nice crease color. It's not matte, it does have a little bit of glitter in it, but I still think it's really nice. And you could just apply this and put mascara and just be done, honestly. But I'm just going to apply this in the crease to add some warmth. And I do really love this shadow. Next, I'm gonna highlight the brow bone and I'm using an e.l.f. brush to do this. It's the C-shape brush and I'm applying the color Skimp from the Gwen Stefani palette. This is just a really nice brow bone highlight. It's really not shimmery. It has a bit of shimmer, but not too much. Not anything that's overpowering, which is why I really like using this on the brow bone. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Macaroon from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like a lavender color. It looks a lot more lavender in the pan than what it does when you put it on your eyes, but it's something that is definitely buildable, and I think just the sheen of it is really, really beautiful, so I'm just applying that with the same e.l.f. brush again. I just keep on packing this, and I also bring it into the inner tear duct area until I think it's dark enough, and I just think it's a really wearable purple, which is why I was really drawn to it. Next, I'm just going to map out my winged eyeliner and I really winged it out just for this look because I thought it was completely necessary just because it was kind of glam. So I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I am winging this out as far as I possibly can, pretty much. And I just like to fill in the rest with um, Maybelline. It's the gel liner from Maybelline, it's black, and I'm just using a Sigma brush. I just like to darken it up, and I just think this really makes it a lot more matte looking. I know that the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner sometimes can get a little sheer on top of shadows like this, so I went back in with that Maybelline gel liner. Next, I'm going to take a macaroon, and I have it on the inner corner. I'm bringing it outwards, and what I like to do is next go in with a darker color on the outer corner, and I'm using Not Today by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just blending those two together just to add some more dimension. Next, I'm going to go in with Not Today on the crease. I'm just keeping this on the outer crease and bringing it inward. Just wanted to add some extra definition to my crease. I'm keeping this in the upper crease though. I'm not bringing it down or anything like that. I'm just going from the outside and pushing inward. I also took this towards the inner corner of my eye because it added a lot more dimension and a lot more definition. And next, I'm just wiping off all of the fallout. Next, I applied the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter, and this is just the silver shade. I'm applying this to my lid, and I'm just gonna keep going until I think it's glittery enough. I think this is really pretty if you add this to just any eye look. It'll just make it very, very glam. And it's super easy to do because it is like a liquid eyeliner, which is just awesome. And the glitter is really, really good for it just being an eyeliner. It's super bright, so I just add that to the tear duct and also the top. Next, I'm going to apply this NYX White Eyeliner. I know this looks a little painful, but I promise you it's not. <laughs> So next I'm just going to apply my false eyelashes and I'm using the Coco Queen Bee lashes. These are so, so long, so glam, but I just think they look really, really pretty with this look. You guys should really try them out if you're looking for really, really long lashes. These are the longest ones I have tried. I think they're awesome though. I really love the way that they look with this makeup look. So next I'm going to line my lips with the new Gwen Stefani Ex-Girlfriend Lip Liner Pencil. And as you can see, I am overlining my lips. This is normally how I overline them. I just overline the top and just bring it straight down. I don't overline my bottom lip because it's quite big, but um, my top lip, I just like to overline it a little bit on top to make it look a little fuller. And for lipstick, I'm gonna be using Cream Corset, and this is by Lipland, and also this is Samantha's lipstick. I absolutely love this color. It is a perfect nude shade, and it's absolutely gorgeous. My new favorite lipstick. Alright guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.